Library of Heaven's Path Chapter 33, Feigning Generosity Shang Gongzi, you're here. Come on in. Before the two men and one beast stepped into the tavern, a smiling middle-aged man welcomed them with a smile. The manager of Hongtian Pavilion, Wu Zhou. Give us a quiet location. C.A.O. Xiong Lishi and I want to have a good drink together. Shang Bin said. Over here. Wu Zhou quickly brought them to their seats. Shang Shi, every time I am here, this Wu Zhou would behave smugly and disregard my presence. This time, why does he, C.A.O. Xiong couldn't resist asking. Hong Tian Pavilion might just be a tavern, but the powers backing it was not one to scoff at. Otherwise, it was impossible for them to be operating their business in the compounds of Hong Tian Academy at such a scale. In the past, when he was here to eat, Manager Wu would always disregard him. Yet, this time, his back was bent forward and his attitude was of utmost respect. The disparity in his attitudes made him doubt if he was in reality. You should have heard of that there was once an elder Hong Hao in the academy. Shang Bin said. C.A.O. Xiong nodded his head. Hong Tian Academy was founded by Hong Tian. After his death, his descendants sustained his heritage. As a result, the elders who have the surname of Hong tended to be of more esteemed standing in the academy. He had heard of this elder Hong Hao previously. He was an extremely powerful individual and had once vied for the principal seat. However, afterward, for some unknown reasons, he suddenly resigned from his position as an elder and there was no news on him anymore. After resigning as an elder, he started a tavern. He used to be best buddies with my grandfather, so manager Wu would welcome me with respect whenever I'm here. Shang Bin declared gleefully. So that's the reason. C.A.O. Xiong nodded his head. No wonder this Hong Tian pavilion managed to grow to such a scale, it was opened by the previous elder Hong Hao. To be received by the manager of such a huge tavern, it is definitely something glorious. On. Just as he was in the midst of enjoying service he had never experienced before, C.A.O. Xiong suddenly froze and his face gradually grew darker. What happened? Shang Bin gazed at him in puzzlement. That should be Zhang Xian, right? How could he possibly have the qualifications to be dining here? C.A.O. Xiong pointed towards a table by the window. Zhang Xian? Shang Bin glanced over as well. Upon seeing the young man, he caught sight of the figure seated together with him. His eyebrows shot upwards and rage surged from within. Why is she together with that trash? I had extended my invitation to her multiple times, but she kept rejecting me. To think that she would be dining with someone else. Damn it. Damn it. As the grandson of an elder, a high-level teacher of the academy and a Fighter 5 Dan Dingley Realm expert, he had invited Shen by Ryu for a meal multiple times, but she never agreed. Initially, he thought that she would never eat together with anyone. Never would he imagine that she would be sitting together with the renowned trash of the academy. He almost fainted from anger on the spot. Slamming his table, he stood up, preparing to rush over to question her. However, he suddenly recalled Shen Bai Ryu's temperament and immediately shriveled back to his seat. She held intense loathe to those who disturbed her. If he were to rush over to interrogate her like this, if she ended up getting provoked by his attitude and raged out at him, there would be no hope for his courtship. Shang Shei, don't be angry. I have an idea that would reveal the true colors of Zhang Xian before Shen Lishi. Furthermore, it can accentuate the majestic aura of Shang Shei. Cao Xiong was a social expert, allowing him to see through the current situation in an instant. An idea flashed through his mind and he smiled as he tried to coax Shang Bin into action. What idea? This Zhang Xian is definitely here to fawn on Shen Lishi by treating her to a meal. However, as a low-level teacher, how much money could he possibly earn? We only have to interfere slightly to make the final bill out of his reach to shame him before her. 
Afterwards, Shang Shaidi would appear and rescue her from the awkward situation. Shen Lishi's impression of Shang Shaidi would definitely improve. Perhaps, the flower of love might even bloom as she runs into your embrace, Cao Xiang revealed his plan. Good, let's do it your way then. Shang Bin's eyes lit up as he nodded his head in satisfaction. Not only would he be able to cripple his opponent, he would also be able to elevate his position in Shen by Ryu's heart at the same time. This was truly a brilliant idea. Looks like this CAO Xiong isn't simply capable at teaching, he also has a way with dealing with humans. Looks like he should be properly groomed in the future. Zhang Xian didn't know of the scheme that was being plotted against him. Eating the delicacies on the table, he nodded his head in commendation. The cooking techniques here might not be as refined as the ones on earth, but this world was rich in spirit energy, not to mention that the ingredients used in the dishes were fresh and delicious, thus providing a wholly different enjoyable eating experience. Soon, most of the dishes on the table had been cleaned up and a large portion of them was wiped clean by Zhang Xian. Shen Bai Ryu only nibbled on a small bit of them symbolically. Seeing how this fellow was only obsessed with eating, disregarding even her presence, Shen Bai Ryu curled her lips in anger. Initially, she thought that he was feigning it to attract her attention. Only now did she realize that he had never thought of her as an important matter. Regardless of whether it was the genius teachers or star teachers of the academy, they would intentionally fawn on her and offer her favors. Yet, this fellow, the worst ranking teacher of the entire academy, treated her as though she is nothing, making her grind her silver teeth in anger. If it wasn't for her etiquette, she would have already sent both of her legs flying towards his body. The more she thought about it, the more furious she got. She knew that if she were to see him continue eating, she would die of anger. She turned around and called out to the waiter, Bill. A total of 1,280 gold coins. A waiter walked over. 1,280? Shen Bai Ryu froze in shock. Why is it so expensive? Even for a high-level teacher like her, she only earned 1,000 gold coin every month. Yet, to eat away a month of salary in a single meal? How could it be so expensive? She had calculated it properly while she was ordering the dishes, and the bill wasn't supposed to even reach 100. How could it jump up to more than 1,000 in an instant? I'm sorry, but this bottle of wine here costs 1,200 gold coins by itself. The waiter explained. Previously, when the both of them were eating, a waiter came forth to ask if they wanted some wine. Shen Bai Ryu thought that it would be fine to have some alcohol, so she nodded her head in agreement. How could she have possibly imagined that the wine would be that expensive? We were uninformed of the price of the wine you sent over. Shen Bai Ryu's face looked extremely pale at this instant. No matter how foolish she could be, it was obvious that she had been had. If you are truly uninterested in it, you should have asked further about it beforehand. Since you didn't ask, we thought that you would be aware of its price, so we didn't say anything excessive. The waiter looked at her coldly. Oof. Seeing the attitude of the waiter, Shen Bai Ryu knew that there's no point in kicking up a fuss. Instead, it might be bad for her reputation if she were to kick up a fuss on this matter. Thus, she whipped out her wallet and prepared to pay. Then, her face suddenly turned white and awkwardness exuded from her, I don't have sufficient money on me now. Why don't you keep it on my tab first, I will repay you after retrieving sufficient money. Today, she only intended to accomplish some reading at the Compendium Pavilion, so she didn't bring much money. After which, she met Zhang Xian and consulted him on some matters. Due to the excessive shock then, she totally forgot about the matter, recalling it only at this moment. She only had around a hundred gold coins on her, far from the required thousand plus. Treating someone to a meal, yet not having sufficient money to foot the tab. She felt a fiery sting on her face as she fervently wished for a burrow to appear, 
so that she could hide inside it. Don't order food that you can't afford. Since you've ordered it, pay up. Don't even dream about eating for free here. The waiter harumphed. You. Shen Bai Ryu's small face flushed in anger. What happened? At this moment, a stern voice sounded out. Shang Bin, accompanied by Cao Xiong and the sky-shattering lion, walked over proudly with widened strides. Dressed in white, his hands were behind him and his head was tilted high, his posture exuding an aura of superiority. In normal times, with his disposition and outer appearance, accompanied with the ferocious sky-shattering lion following behind him, he would have looked like an elegant and dashing gentleman. However, at this very moment, his face was swollen red and his eyes were bruised black. Looking from afar, he looked indescribably ridiculous. However, he seemed oblivious to it and instead, strutted about proudly. With a deep look in his eyes and a distanced aura, he walked forward and his eyes happened to chance upon Shen Bai Ryu's body. Feigning shock, he said, Shen Lishi, what a coincidence. You're here as well? He turned around to look at the waiter and asked, what happened here? It is unbecoming to be making a ruckus here. Ah, so it is Shang Shei. The waiter leapt in fear. He no longer put on the pushy attitude from before and instead, revealed a careful demeanor as he explained, it's like this, they had eaten but they do not have the money to foot the bill. No money to foot the bill? Shang Bin shook his head as a disappointed expression appeared on his face. He gazed at Zhang Xian and said, Zhang Lishi, it is not that I want to lecture you, but if you do not have the money, don't try to feign generosity and treat someone to a meal here. Look, you simply ended up embarrassing yourself. As the worst teacher in the academy, you might be used to it, but to bring shame to Shen Lishi as well, don't you think you have gone a bit too far? Seeing the arrogant look on the face of the fellow before him, Zhang Xian paused for a moment before turning around to look at Shen Bai Ryu, Sai, he seems to be talking about you. If you don't have sufficient money, don't feign generosity. Look, you simply ended up embarrassing yourself. You. Upon hearing Shang Bin's words, Shen Bai Ryu was already infuriated. Yet, to hear Zhang Xian repeating the same words again, she almost exploded from all of the accumulated fury. She lifted her head and glared at the gleeful Shang Bin, who was trying to put on an impressive image to win her favor. Luo Luo, she grinned her jade teeth together and roared, Shang Bin, I dare you to say once more who the one feigning generosity is. Translator note. Gongza dash gentlemen, usually used to address for young males.